hello students in this video i have i want to give you some more tricks related to genetics to solve the questions related to genetics in the previous video i have given some tricks okay now the question is a plant is with the genotype capital a capital a capital b small b capital c small c capital d small d find how many types of phenotypes are formed when it is selfed self is nothing but when this plant is self pollinated so here we have to apply the trick or the formula that is to find the types of phenotypes to find the types of phenotypes types of phenotypes we have to use the formula 2 power n again that is 2 power n where n equals to number of heterozygotes n equals to number of heterozygotes number of heterozygotes right let's come back to the question okay a plant is with this genotype find how many types of phenotypes are formed when it is self when it is self pollinated so here how many heterozygotes are there one two and three three heterozygotes are there in the given genotype so 2 power n so here n value is 3 so how many types of uh, phenotypes 8 types of phenotypes will be formed 8 types of phenotypes will be formed 2 power n 2 power 3 because here 3 heterozygotes so So, eight types of phenotypes. Phenotypes are formed. Okay, next. Next question is, a plant is with the genotype, capital A, capital A, same genotype I have taken. Capital B, small b, capital C, small c, capital D, small d. Find how many types of genotypes are formed when it is selfed. To find the types of genotypes, we have to use another formula that is 3 power n. So, to find the types of genotypes from a given plant, we have to use the formula 3 power n, where n equals to number of heterozygotes. Again, number of heterozygotes. Heterozygotes present in the plant in the plant genotype in the given genotype of that plant okay so here we have to apply the formula 3 power n 3 power n n is nothing but number of heterozygotes here heterozygotes how many are there 1 2 3 heterozygotes are there in the given genotype so 3 power 3 3 into 3 into 3 that is 27 types of genotypes 27 types of genotypes so why we are using this formula 2 power n for phenotypes and 3 power n for genotypes 2 power n for phenotypes because for a character let's say a character is there called tallness tallness is the character sorry plant height is the character plant height is the character in this character called plant height there are two contrasting traits that is tall and dwarf a plant can can be either tall or dwarf that means only two phenotypes are possible for a character or for a gene for a character which is controlled by a gene okay so we are taking 2 power n so for finding the types of genotypes we are taking the formula 3 power n because for a character called let's say plant height only plant height there are three genotypes three genotypes are possible plant height is a character for this character called plant height controlled by a gene three genotypes are possible for that gene which is controlling a character that is capital T capital T capital T 
small t small t small t homozygous dominant heterozygous dominant homozygous recessive so we are taking the formula 3 power n where n equals to number of heterozygotes okay next next type of question next type of question is to find the probability of a plant with a particular genotype in the given cross to find the probability of a plant or an offspring with a particular genotype in a given cross okay so to find to uh, solve this kind of problems we have to multiply we have to multiply the probabilities all the probabilities okay let's take a uh, cross so two plants are there a plant is with the genotype capital a capital small a capital b capital b capital c small c capital d small d this plant is crossed with another plant which is with the genotype capital a capital a capital b small b capital c small c capital d capital d now for this what we need to do we have to find the probability of a plant or an offspring with a particular genotype in the given cross so this is the cross this is the cross made between two plants and we have to find the probability of a plant or offspring with a particular genotype now we have to find the probability of a plant with this genotype or offspring with this genotype that is capital a capital a let's say capital a capital a capital b small b capital c small c capital d capital d okay in this cross first i'll explain you how to find types of gametes how to find types of gametes and then let's see how many types of offsprings are formed and among all those offsprings how many plants or how many offsprings are with this given genotype that is the probability of a plant or an offspring with a particular genotype in the given cross this is the cross and we need to find the probability of a plant or an offspring with this genotype among all the offsprings formed from this cross okay so types of gametes what we use 2 power n formula is 2 power n from this plant also formula is 2 power n types of offsprings to find the type sorry types of gametes to find the types of gametes 2 power n right so n value is 1 2 3 from this plant from this plant 3 na so 8 types of gametes 8 types of gametes from this plant 1 2 so n value 2 here so 4 types of gametes next offsprings how many are will be formed 4 types of gametes now offsprings how many types of offsprings or zygotes or zygotes how many types of offsprings 8 into 4 that is nothing but 32 types of offsprings or zygote zygotes are formed okay from this cross now among all these 32 types of offsprings or zygotes we need to find the probability of a plant or an offspring with this genotype how can we find how can we find by taking by multiplying the probabilities of all these genes first what we have to do is we have to cross this plant uh, this gene capital a we have to take the probability of first gene capital a cap small a with this gene capital a capital a of another plant so let's take the probability here capital a small a into capital a capital a for this from this plant the gametes are capital a small a for this plant gametes are capital a capital a so capital a capital a capital a small a capital a capital a capital a small a okay now what is the probability of this one see here this one capital a capital a 
how many plants are there two plants among four plants two plants totally one two three four plants are there among four plants how many plants are with capital a capital a two plants so two among four that is nothing but half so first from this half next let's see the probability for the next genotype that is capital b small b for that what we need to do we need to cross this one with this one so capital b capital b into capital b small b so what type of gametes from this plant capital b capital b from this plant capital b small b so let let's make the cross capital b capital b capital b capital b capital b small b capital b small b okay now we need this one second one probability of second gene so capital b small b how many plants are with this genotype two plants among four plants so again half of the plants half next next gene we have to see for next one capital c small c so for that what we need to do we need to cross capital c small c with the, the uh, third gene of another plant so capital c small c into capital c small c capital c small c so from this plant what type of gametes capital c small c from this plant again capital c small c capital c capital c capital c small c capital c small c capital c small c so small c small c here so how many plants are with this genotype third genotype third one third genotype capital c small c two plants among how many plants four plants so again half for this gene also probability is half next fourth fourth gene capital d capital d so for to find the probability of this gene what we need to do we need to make a cross between the gene d gene of one plant with the d gene of another plant so capital d this one capital d small d into capital d capital d so from this plant two types of gametes from this plant two types of gametes capital d capital d now let's cross capital d capital d capital d small d capital d capital d capital d small d okay so totally four plants among four plants how many plants are with this genotype capital d capital d two plants two among four that is nothing but half one by two so now let's multiply the probabilities of all the genes all the genes of this plant okay so two to the four four to the eight eight to the sixteen one by sixteen one by sixteen is nothing but thirty two one among thirty two plants so one plant among two to the four four to the eight eight to the sixteen one among sixteen plants that is nothing but two plants among thirty two plants one plant among sixteen plants is nothing but two plants among thirty two plants so totally we got thirty two types thirty two types of plants among these thirty two with this genotype how many plants are there two plants are there with this genotype hope you understood this concept students that is the finding the probability of a plant with a particular plant or offspring with a particular genotype in the given cross so this is the cross made between these two plants with these two genotypes for this we have found how many types of gametes are formed from each plant after finding the types of gametes we found the types of offsprings or zygotes formed Uh, formed by a cross made between these two plants when these two plants are cross pollinated and from this from this we also found the probability of a particular plant of a particular plant or the offsprings with this given genotype that means how many plants are with this genotype among 32 types of offsprings how many plants are there two plants are there among 32 offsprings 
Thank you students. Hope you understood this concept. Thank you very much.